Germany may soon take a major step toward integrating unmanned systems into its future air combat capabilities. According to a new report by Hartpunkt, Airbus Defense and Space plans to acquire the U.S.-developed XQ-58A Valkyrie drone to serve as a learning vehicle for testing manned-unmanned teaming concepts in preparation for the long-term development of a European Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA. The report states that Airbus recently received approval from the German Ministry of Defense to import the Valkyrie, an experimental, low-cost unmanned aircraft designed by the U.S. firm Kratos. The platform, initially developed as a high-performance target drone, has since evolved into a candidate for future loyal wingman roles, with a reported unit cost under $10 million. In a speech delivered in Berlin earlier this year, Airbus Defense and Space CEO Michael Schollhorn emphasized the need to develop an experimental drone platform quickly. This vehicle must be equipped with German mission systems, he said, so we can learn together with the Air Force how to fight with drones. Airbus is expected to use the Valkyrie as a surrogate to gather operational data and validate software and systems ahead of any full-scale European CCA effort. While France and Spain continue to collaborate with Germany on the future combat air system, FCAS, which includes a manned next-generation fighter and an unmanned remote carrier. The timeline for fielding those systems extends to at least 2040. In the meantime, Germany is seeking to gain experience with CCA operations before FCAS reaches maturity. A potential Airbus Saab partnership would reflect growing defense cooperation between Germany and Sweden. Berlin has already chosen Saab's Arexis Electronic Warfare Suite to equip 15 Eurofighters for electronic attack missions, diverging from standard Eurofighter configurations. The decision highlights Germany's confidence in Saab's aerospace and systems integration capabilities. The German armed forces have made clear they intend to deploy unmanned systems controlled from both ground stations and crewed aircraft before FCAS reaches operational readiness. With the Valkyrie now expected to arrive in Germany, the groundwork for that transition may finally be underway.